Megumi is somebody who poured her heart into uh, so many facets of what we do at Cheshire High School. Right now at 6 o'clock, a devastating loss at a local high school felt by so many. Teacher Megumi Yamamoto died unexpectedly Wednesday, and police have not yet released the cause of death. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Students and staff at the school are trying to come to grips with this news. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Lee is live outside the high school, and Jen, support services will be available into next week. Yes, Denise and Dennis, the superintendent says Megumi Yamamoto's loss is being felt deeply across the school community. He's encouraging parents to talk with their kids and says support is here for anyone who needs it. Megumi Yamamoto started teaching at Cheshire High School in 1997. She was a chair of the English department and a former Cheshire Teacher of the Year. The superintendent says he worked closely with the 48-year-old when he was the high school principal. Megumi is somebody who poured her heart into uh, so many facets of what we do at Cheshire High School. And I think that's why she's so roundly uh, respected and why she's so deeply missed. Yesterday, police spent hours investigating on Mixville Road. Detectives say Yamamoto was first reported missing on Wednesday night. Her body was found nearby in the woods. The medical examiner will release an autopsy in about a month's time. Grief counselors and therapy dogs have been at the school, and the Cheshire Clergy Association has offered support. Yamamoto was also an active member and leader at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Meriden, where she raised her two children who were 16 and 19. I would like to remember her for her smile, um, which was definitely not a, a fluff joy smile. It was a deep radiance. The Reverend says Yamamoto was a former president of the Board of Trustees, a worship associate, and served with her gift of connecting with children. I think children and youth were attracted to her depths and that she did take them so seriously and that she deeply listened to them. And a memorial service is being planned to celebrate Yamamoto's life. Reporting live in Cheshire, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.